got the officer Mendez, Officer Allen, we'll be talking about the Explorations Program uh, in uh, North Las Vegas. These fellows belong to the North Las Vegas Police Department. And, uh, you know, I love things uh, going out to the community, and these guys are definitely the fellas to put you in the right direction. Uh, so we're going to be going on air in a few and uh, sharing what they got with the community. You guys want to say hi? Hello. How are you this morning? Thank you, Thank you for having us. We appreciate you having us here. Really good stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, stay tuned. Got a lot more coming your way. So keep listening. <laughs> and then Emery. Oh, you already know. <laughs> yes, Helen Maya right there. Party uh, Nation. Nation, Nation. 1040. I'm Island Emery. My name is Puna Boy. Uh, we've got the bad boys themselves. Uh, North, well, North Las Vegas Police Department. Yep. The North Town, baby. They're right here. Officer Allen, Officer Mendez. Welcome to the Little Grass Shack, fellas. Thank you, Emery. Thank you for having us on the station this morning, and uh, we appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate the opportunity to come talk to you and your listeners a little bit about some of the programs we have in the department and the department as a whole. Yep. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, for the Little Grass Shack, we love to give back to the community and get you guys involved. You know, if you're looking for the right direction, you're like a, a student, a high school student, or venturing into uh, what careers are out there. Mm -hmm. Officer Allen and Officer Mendez are in here for that reason. They are creating a explorations program, and uh, Officer Allen, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, yes, I would be happy to, Emery. Uh, I've been with the department for since 1996. Uh, been in a lot of great assignments. Uh, right now, one of the assignments I'm privileged to have is I'm one of the advisors for the Explorer program. The analogy that I like to give for what the Police Explorer program is is if you think of kind of what a junior ROTC program is in high school. Uh, essentially, this is a program, first and foremost, we want to give back to the community, get good civic-minded kids, produce good citizens, good adults, but for kids that are interested in a career in law enforcement, this is what the Explorer program is. We take kids from the age of 15 to 20. Some circumstances, we'll make an exception and take a teenager as young as 14. Different variables come into play there to accept them. And essentially what we do is uh, we prepare these kids for a career in law enforcement. So we put them through a lot of the same training that they would receive throughout the police academy. They learn our terminology, our police codes, uh, our different crime definitions. We do scenario-based training with them all the time. Uh, everything that you would encounter, uh, or most things I would say, that you encounter as a police officer. Uh, so that these kids are trained up so when they do reach that point where they're ready to perhaps if they decide that they want to make that leap into law enforcement they have a uh, head start if they choose not to stay with our agency it's going to help them in any agency they choose to go through but particularly in ours they already know the department they already know the people that work there uh, we have somebody in the academy right now that is a previous explorer. Uh, he's in the academy right now. We have two other officers that have just fin finished their field training program. They were explorers, and I have a young man riding with me right now is a trainee that was one of our explorers. So, uh... How long, I mean, uh, uh, Shane, oh, I'm sorry, Officer Allen. Uh, how long has the explorations uh, program been around? We have had the, uh, the explorer program I know since I've been here in the 90s, but if you will, we're kind of giving the program a rebirth right now, if you have, if you will. Uh, we're trying to take it up to the next level, uh, exploring a lot of new opportunities, trying to get some better things going on with the kids. Uh, since I've become one of the advisors, that's been one of my goals, is to progress the program and build on what we already have in place and keep that foundation but to build upon that foundation and move it up to the next level and uh, use it very strongly as a recruiting tool is really what we're starting to gear that towards we really want to get these kids young keep them with us keep them out of trouble prepare them for a career in law enforcement <laughs> at which point yeah. i can pass them off to officer mendez <laughs> who's our recruiter right. and have a uh 
a good young woman or young man that's ready to make that leap into law enforcement. Now, for uh, for minor teenagers, minors un, uh, under eighteen, is there uh, any type of requirements as far as grades, as far as parental? Uh, um, what do you call it? I understand what you're permission? saying, and that is an excellent question. Yes, we do have requirements for the kids. Yes. Uh, they have to maintain a minimum of a C average in school. We do follow up on that. They have to produce report cards for us. They have to produce attendance records for us. Uh, we do a complete background investigation on them. And as part of being in the program, their parents, uh, since they are minors, their parents have to sign a waiver, uh, which gives us permission to go in and access and see if they have a juvenile record, to go in and access, uh, research their academic record, talk to the school that they go to, find out if they're a uh, disciplinary problem. Uh, typically, kids that don't have those types of issues don't come looking into our program anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's not to say that if a young man or woman has maybe had a little hiccup in their life that they're automatically disqualified because that's not the case. We're, we were all young. We make mistakes. Uh, that's not an automatic <laughs> disqualification. Right. But we need to know about it. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, uh, but, uh, you know, getting, uh, you said you were, uh, is this your first year becoming uh, the leader, the, uh, the man taking the helm and uh, just driving around? I, I am about a uh, little more than a year now. I've been involved in the program, and it's, it really has been a great, great opportunity. I've been doing the job for a long time now, and this is just kind of the point where, it was time for me to give something back, and it's very satisfying to see these young men and women to develop and mature, and especially satisfying to see them to develop, mature, get hired, and move on to the department, exactly. become part of the team. Exactly. Uh, we're going to uh, continue uh, with uh, the bad boys themselves right here in the uh, Little Grass Shack. Uh, you guys want to uh, have any questions? Uh, this is somebody you get connected with us right now. 702-895-5868. And uh, if you go shy, people will just want to uh, cruise the uh, website. Online, littlegrassshack.net. Check out our Facebook. We already got links to the North Las Vegas Police Department. Also, it's Rikers Day right here in the uh, Little Grass Shack. Uh, we'll play some old school music for you. Uh, vinyl... Uh, Right here in the Yellow Glass Shack, and we're giving away a uh, turntable. Ooh, turntable. Nice. At the, uh, well, we'll let you know. Just keep listening to the best of island music on 91.5. Yo, the story of Aloha. Right there, straight from Mount Yohana, no kaoi. What does that mean? Number one. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> I'm Island Number Eight. My name is Puna Boy. As uh, we continue with the uh, bad boys themselves, North Las Vegas Police Department, uh, Officer Allen, Officer Mendez, welcome back, brother. Thank you, Emery. Thanks again for having us here. You know, I was talking through the break. Uh, I just was wondering, uh, how long have you been uh, law enforcement? I am just starting my 21st year uh, wow. with the police department. And with uh, North Las Vegas? With North Las Vegas the entire time. Nice. So. <laughs> wow, 21 years, guys. Uh, well, not taking the spotlight off of you, but I had a question about the uh, Explorer program. What if uh, someone is over the... 20 year age is there any programs they can get into before or deciding you know if that's the career they want to take what i would recommend to somebody if they haven't been involved in something like the explorer program or coming from perhaps a prior military mm -hmm. uh background or something like that where they would be comfortable in uh an organization like ours what i would recommend to them is we do manpower permitting we allow citizens to come and do ride-alongs and we encourage them to do several not just one before they make the decision do several ride-alongs and get an exposure ride different shifts different days of the week and see if that's truly something you want to do because right. after a couple of ride-alongs that'll give you an idea of if perhaps that's a lifestyle because it's yeah. not just a job but a lifestyle on a life that you want to enter into okay thank you <laughs> uh but uh, you know what uh officer allen has brought the officer mendez here and uh you know with the explorer program if you guys are looking in that direction what is the next step officer allen <laughs> if they are interested in joining the explorer 
Emery? Yeah, I mean, actually, uh, you know, if they uh, succeed through the Explorer program. If they succeed through the Explorer program, and at that point, if they want to make a jump into law enforcement, then obviously if they've been in our Explorer program, <laughs> yes. I want them to come to work for our agency. Uh, I would refer them to the gentleman sitting next to me, Officer Mendez, who is our recruiter, and he will take them through the A to Z hiring process and everything that that entails. And that is what he is doing right now for the department is he is actively recruiting. We are actively hiring. So anybody out there interested in a career in law enforcement, <laughs> contact Officer Mendez. We want to talk to you. And on that note, I will introduce Officer Mendez. Take it away, Officer Mendez. Welcome to the Brass Jack. Well, how are you doing? Good, good. Thank you, and good morning to everybody. I really, really appreciate you guys having us on this morning. No, man, you know what? Uh, it's one of our things trying to give back to the community, and uh, especially organizations like your, uh, you folks, uh, you know, getting people in that Ryan Mites mindset and try to just get out there when they finish school or trying to get involved with other activities, man. I'm really down with that. So thank you guys for offering these offers offering these programs, Sean. And uh, that's why you guys are here, bro. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Officer Allen did a, a great job of explaining our Explorer program. It's definitely a mentorship program for these young adults coming up uh, nowadays. So what we're looking at now is just recruitment efforts, uh -huh. right? So we're hiring. Every agency in the country, for the most part, is hiring. And uh, we're no different. We're, we're short. We're short-handed. We're short-staffed. So we're looking at picking up some good, qualified people. I know. Now... Now you guys are, you were talking about demographics. Does demographics mean anything in any organization within the, uh, I mean, actually within your, your organization? Well, you know, our efforts are to be a little bit more um, community-based okay. and diverse as a culture. So we're, we're looking at those select few who are interested in joining our, our, our police department, but are from the community and mm -hmm. uh, not just going out there and doing what, you know, traditional cop stuff does, but... Uh, looking at it as a means of just being part of the community, giving back per se, you know, joining the Explorer program, being an advisor, um, getting out there and doing um, volunteer work, handing out flyers, explaining different programs the police department offers, uh, stuff like that. Uh, uh, what kind of a uh, time process is the hiring? It's a little difficult to explain. I, I hate to give a time frame because mm. everybody's background is different. Okay. No two backgrounds are the same. So typically um, we have two academies a year, one in January, one in July, and we leave it at that. Okay. So hopefully uh, within uh, that time frame, whatever, you know, it fits for that individual person. They get things done. They can get things done. Right. Okay. So January or July is what we're looking at. All right. And now um, anybody can apply or uh, is you guys cap it at age or... We don't have an age max, believe it or not. So uh, um, that's that's pretty uh, good, in right. my opinion. Yes. So uh, the more senior the person, you know, that's still physically fit, that can handle the rigors of the job, I mean, that's perfect. But we do have a minimum that's, you can apply at 20 years and a half. So if you're 20 okay. years old and a half, you can apply uh, to join the police department as long as you have a birthday before you graduate the academy, because you cannot get certified in the state of Nevada as a police officer unless you're 21 years old. Okay. So, Do you have to be a resident of North Las Vegas? Absolutely not. No. No, okay. it's just anybody. And as a matter of fact, we have, uh, we have an out-of-state program, mm -hmm. so we're taking uh, applicants from all over the country at this point. Male um, and female. Male and female, black, blue, red, yellow, we don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> diverse, diverse group, that's what we're looking for. Now, now people are interested in uh, getting you know, involved with these uh, uh, your organization. What is the website that we want to go to? Well, right now, uh, we're currently building our website. It's going to be www.joinnlvpd.com. Uh, I'm, I'm building it now, so I'm working with my city okay. diligently to get that up and running, hopefully soon. But if they want more general information, they can uh, hit us up on our Facebook page at joinnlvpd or our Twitter page at joinnlvpd. Make it very simple for people to find us. So, uh, And if anything else, uh, some of the old school cats that can't really operate technology <laughs> like myself i'm having a difficult time with it sometimes <laughs> okay. they can hit us up on our uh, recruitment hotline at 702-633-2255 wow uh off the cuff uh is it true that every officer loves donuts i i speaking from personal experience <laughs> i'm just asking i love power rings power rings are amazing power rings, power rings. i love them officer yeah. allen I, I have to admit, I do enjoy the uh, occasional donut, but 
I'll say no more than everybody else does. I'm pretty sure everybody loves a good donut. <laughs> there you guys go, man. You know what? I'd like to thank you guys, first off, for coming in and uh, taking off uh, from your busy uh, schedule. Uh, what do you got for the I got one more question. You get one That's more question. One more. On the uh, Explorer program, <laughs> is there a cost? There is no cost. Uh, and I'm glad you brought that up. There is no cost to the kids that participate in it. And we are not a taxpayer funded organization. Uh, so we count on running the program. We count on uh, donations from businesses. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. I mean, let's talk about that. You know, you're looking for sponsorships uh, for these uh, programs. Uh, so if you guys are any businesses out there that want to get involved, uh, again, these are the great uh, site, uh, well, the website itself and the hotline that you want to get connected. And uh, you are uh, part of that, uh, the face of uh, the exploration program, correct? <laughs> that would be correct. <laughs> So you guys want to get connected right here in the little grass shack. Uh, again, uh, mahalo. Big thank you to you guys. Yeah. Uh, and you guys stay blessed, man. Uh, we really respect what you guys do for out sure. there for the uh, community. And uh, just be blessed, man, and stay safe. Mahalo. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. you guys. so much, Emery, and we appreciate your contributions and uh, having us on the show this morning. No wow, no problem, bro. All for you guys. Uh, I got more music coming your way. Uh, broadcast from Greece and Mahalo on campus of UNLV. We're listening to supporting 91.5, The Source. I don't know, Marie. Put a boy. 91.5. KUNV. No, man. Good positive. <laughs> no, uh, no, no homicide. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no homicide hours here, bro. No. They didn't tell you about the behind the scenes, but, uh, no. I'm sure you guys get involved with the uh, program. Uh, again, the uh, website was... Join NLVPD.com. Join NLVPD.com. You know what? Uh, these guys are doing an excellent job in the community. I appreciate them for what they do. So um, I appreciate if you guys guys can, or if you folks get involved, if you guys know somebody wants to get involved, uh, make that call. So keep supporting. <laughs> and thank you very much again for having us. We hope to see you at one of our recruitment events, or if you're not old enough, we hope to see you signing up for our Explorer program. Good deal. Join NLVPD.com, uh, recruitment hotline 702-633-2255. Thank you so much.